Anyone else think Taylor Hansen's like super hot? I don't know yes. which one that is. Oh, it's the middle but probably. One. Taylor Hansen's the singer. Yes. Yeah. He's very handsome. He's, he's a very attractive man. He's a straight dime. He's a man dime. He's a man dime. He's a man dime. He's a man dime. <coughs> they are luxurious. We are officially recording and I just started the timer. Sweet. What's oh up, boy. Bitches? Hey everyone. It's uh it's my birthday, kind of. Happy birthday, Pat. Look what Josh got me for Happy my birthday. birthday, man. It's a dice bag. I got you nothing. I got you the gift of dungeons and also a dragon, maybe. It's a gift that keeps on giving and sometimes burns when I pee. <laughs> <laughs> Told you oh, we're no. in protection. I didn't. You didn't. I don't like it. Bad choice. <laughs> it feels condoms. <laughs> Condom. <laughs> it's like fucking oh, the inside of a plastic bag. Why do you have bag? so, so many, many daughters? daughters? <laughs> condoms feel weird. Okay, so very exciting. Uh, this is a kind of like one shot that we're going to cut up in a couple of parts. I uh, decided to do a little bit of the homebrew. Uh, apart from our Curse of Strad campaign, this is actually about 20 years before that when uh, following actually the father of Rufio, Rufio <laughs> Payne. So Payne. Uh, this is actually in canon. Now you know what Rufio's last name is, actually. It's pain. It's pain. So we are. Life is pain. Life is pain. Hashtag all black. deep. Dude, it's fuck. Um, so we're going to be following with Thomas Payne. Yeah, that's me. And who's your character, Josh? Pally. Pally. <laughs> Pally the Paladin. So And my pal. <laughs> and my bad friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're the two best friends. That so basically because Patricio here really likes paladins, I thought it'd be cool to not go out of sight of the wheelhouse for anyone but Josh and uh, make a paladin kind yeah, of campaign. Fuck you, Josh. Now you're goddamn. Uh, I wasn't complaining. Also, decided to maybe go something with a little bit more dungeon crawly esque, uh, a little more classic D and D as opposed to Curse of Strahd, where it's a little more gothic horror. Uh, there's still going to be some fun, like horror stuff in it because I just like that genre. But mostly, it'll be you know traveling in the forest, going in the dungeon, beating the big bad. That is the goal. So beating each other off, That's beating nice. each other off, both hands. <laughs> so this in mourning in the uh, the kingdom of where you're from, Thomas Paine, and you are called into the king's domain. And already there is your friend Pal waiting outside the door. And uh, <coughs> you hear, uh, <coughs> and you you turn around. Whoa! I hit that. And uh, the king is sitting there, and he goes, I'm glad you were able to come. Been waiting for you for eh, almost about two hours now. That's uh, quite some time. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that it took me so long to get here. Prior things needed tending. You know what? That's fine. I'm probably going to have to kill that servant. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Shit happens, I guess. I'm just kidding. So... No, he's not. Kidding. He's not quitting. He's, he's not, not kidding. He's not, he's I almost like he's, he's going to die. He's going to kill someone. <laughs> uh, so, Thomas. Yes. It's been it's been roughly three weeks. Yes. Since we last saw your brother Elliot. Yes. Uh, at this point, Elliot has been. Basically, you guys are part of a the the Knights Guard or the King's Guard. Basically, mm. you're the high ranking paladins you follow pelor you follow melora these are the gods that have reached out to you however you're still under this king and like uh your brother who is about five years older than you you look up to him uh he also is a paladin of Pelor. pelor and uh off on a mission back into the hollow woods he he's been disappeared he's disappeared for about three weeks you've run search parties dogs everything you can't seem to find him anywhere and uh the king, uh, the mention of your, your brother's name, you feel the stir of hope start to cut quell in your chest. And he goes, I know it's been rough on you. And of course you have your, your baby on the way and really would like to make sure that your, your family is complete. And we, we think we might have saw signs of, of where he might be in the hollow forest. What have we, what have we found? We've, we found a couple of his things, his packs, his uh his belo- his a couple of his books his journals um it looks like he's been out there for quite some time at least the 3 weeks 
And I'm not sure where he is, but we know of, we've had a few scouts go out. We know that there is this cave, and but we don't know what's in it. And if not my two best paladins, who else? No one better than us? No one. Uh, well, there have been a few instances, I will be honest, uh, that uh, you perhaps have killed and maimed yourselves a little bit more than I, I feel comfortable with. I disagree with that statement entirely. It was all part of the plan. Yes, all part of the plan. I'm going to give you a little bit of help. Uh, I've called in a favor from a nearby kingdom. Uh, he is a cleric of Helm, and I believe he should be arriving shortly. He's a very short fellow dwarf. He's a dwarf. Uh, just not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. Um, that's fair. I mean, the weird. Yeah. Um, and I, agree. I hear all I know is I hear he likes to knit a lot. Just don't call attention to it. Uh, I'm sure he is a very nice fellow, and uh, likes to knit. I whisper to the side. I'm calling attention to it. Please. Please do. Okay. Fantastic. No, you didn't hear me. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> you didn't, didn't hear. hear. Would you like to roll for uh, <laughs> yeah. deception? 13. 13. I'm going to roll. Plus uh, for deception. Three. And he looks at you and he goes... Mod, mod 16. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you heard nothing. And... <clears throat> At oh, this Jedi. time, while you we're guys... We're the Beatles. <laughs> we're the Beatles, and I'm Ringo. Uh, and as you guys are talking, and the, the tension that you felt before in this excitement is starting to well up, and you hear this knock at the door, and slowly but surely, this uh, this dwarf's head pokes out. And he half of his, his sides are shaved. He has this giant scar on the side of his head. It looks like a morning star hit him on the head. And he has this massive mohawk that goes up and he's wearing this plate mail armor and he's got this hammer and the shield and he goes i sorry i don't know if i'm late or not but uh i'm there uh, is explain. that the knitter yeah you knit stuff don't you <laughs> i do i heard you did no i did i mean Do you bring anything for me i mean preferably i, I brought yarn but uh i hear we're traveling i mean if you want something or... yeah like a shirt if you would do that <laughs> All right, and, and he takes out mind. like a little pen and paper. And he's like, "What's your favorite color?" Uh, blue, please. And what's your name? Uh, Pally. And I'm ridiculous. <laughs> I, mean, I yeah. feel like you're a little bit condescending, and you're talking about my knitting. Meanwhile, your name is Pally. Yeah, I like I like knitting. I like your <laughs> knitting. I want a shirt. I want a fucking shirt, man. This- you don't even know. You don't even know please. what my name is. Let's just excuse, move on. Well, excuse him. Uh, sorry, apologies. Goddamn shirt. Apologies. No, I got it. It's there. What, you said blue? Yeah, blue. Blue. All right, blue. Hashtag role play. <laughs> Four pal. All right. I mean, I can start working on it. No, we'll do it later. I mean, I can start it. I'd... And then the king's like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, this is uh, Decori Flintback. He is from a couple of ca- castles over, and he will be your, your helper today. He is babysit. Quite a lot of people. And uh, you see Decori. Babysit. I just, I've, I've heard that uh, you two get a little bit into a little bit of trouble, a little bit of fisticuffs. I don't mind that. Uh, I just, you know, sometimes got to make sure you guys are all right. Uh, I'll have you know, I, I, uh, I've dealt with half orcs. I've dealt with uh, Changeling. That was interesting. Uh, I've dealt with uh, two warlocks. One was a genie. Uh, that was also weird. And... Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, lots of uh, fighting a lot of frog people and just dragon people. We're Don't human. Don't want to go into it. It's great. We're human. I, I can see that. Okay. <laughs> Bloody. No, it's good. Getting, so it, out, getting, you it guys all out, be, getting it all out on the table. I mean, you guys should be like, I don't know, walking in a park. I have to listen <laughs> it. Hold on. I'm, okay. You guys should be like a walk in the park. <laughs> It's okay. Great I'm gonna, records. I'm gonna, fade. <laughs> I'm gonna fade in and out of this. No, this you're good. You're like good. Going to like no, <laughs> no, you're good. Stick it. Stick with it. This stick is gonna be. Accent, and this, then is, I'm going, yeah. this is gonna be the worst <laughs> series Fuck to watch. Bastard. If you're gonna. At eight. No, I'm back. Motherfucker. I'm back. It's at eight. I'm back. All right. Great. No, it's great. So, uh, please, you don't have to call me uh, Decori. I go by Duke. 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 Hey. So, All right, Duke. 
should get the lead on then, mate. Let's go. Uh, we're we're following so, you. I mean, I don't know these forests, and I don't know this castle. You're the babysitter. Yeah, you're the babysitter. He looks over, and the king kind of goes, you're the babysitter. <laughs> you should probably figure it out, huh? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, short dude. <laughs> Duke, you have to be this tall to be our babysitter. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so... Duke kind of looks at you, you guys, and he goes, I'd hate, I'd hate, follow me. And he, you see him, and he has this, like, bag onto his side, and he straps his uh, shield and warhammer onto his back. And for someone who's so tiny, you see that he's actually kind of, like, from, he's not, like, I would say jacked, but he's at least solid. And he's able to carry all of these things without really uh, falling too far behind as you guys walk. Not cumbersome. Yeah, it's not, he's, he's been around the block a few times. <clears throat> We'll see about so, that. About this uh, yeah, mission, I I have just heard that there is someone missing, and that, that uh, I, I'm excited that we're going to go, and, oh, man, I just I need a change of scenery, man. So excited. Why is that? Oh, I, I don't know if you be, you heard me earlier, but I was fighting uh, frog people and dragon people. Oh, that was recent. I oh, was yeah, like, it's pretty recent. So you're still in your prime. Oh, yeah, still in my prime. I'm a, I'm Thought a, somebody was a babysitter might be a little bit past where they were old i'm too hun- old yeah this old. is doubtfire oh. <laughs> can i sidebar real quick yeah. uh my friends call this character the mrs doubtfire <laughs> just by the way the you officially have mama duke on your can on your one shot <laughs> i thought yes. it'd be great um so no i mean i i am uh, i am 210 years old uh, that is fairly young for a dwarf dwarfs usually are about uh 450 495 so i'm in my prime I'm about 20 like you guys. But, you know, I've been around the block a little bit more. I'm just not as cocky. Because, you know, you guys are children. I thought you said we were the same age. Oh, no. Children. I mean, mentally, where I'm older and I've had more life experience. But, I mean, virility-wise, uh, uh, body-wise, same. Can be and a damn good babysitter. He's, talking, <laughs> he's already taken out his knitting needles and he starts... Uh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Dab. This is a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> he's already taken out his knitting needles and he has blue yarn. He's already starting to knit your uh, your shirt up. It's going to take him a while, but he's starting it. That's fine. I appreciate it. Yeah, no. I So uh, you're probably wondering why the knitting, you brought it up earlier. It's something I like to do when I get nervous or excited. Uh, just something for my hands to do. Which one is it right now? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, good. Just making sure. Very excited. Looking uh, for my my brother, Elliot. Oh. Uh, he's gone missing. Oh. And uh, That's sad. heading towards the caves. Caves? caves. Oh, boy. So, humans. Uh, are you like special humans that you can see in the dark at all? Or is that uh, going to be a me job? Definitely not. Yeah, that's on you. Do you have torches or? Uh, we're still mm. relatively close to the castle. I guess we could go back and get some. All right. Great. You guys are very prepared for a dungeon. A uh, cave crawl. Uh, crawl crawl. Crawl scroll. crawl crawl. We'd, what does that entail, mate? I mean, have you been in a cave before? Many times. Then what do you normally like to do in the cave? Walk. All right, this is going swimmingly. <laughs> and so uh, after a few minutes, you gather supplies, you get torches. Each one of you gets a tinder box and like four torches. Um, <clears throat> I would say also between the two of you, you both have uh, 20 feet of hemp and rope, uh, bedroll, mess kit, the essentials, water skin. So just like you're going camping, basically. Oh, boy. Josh is writing stuff. We'll leave your friend. And uh, Josh is going to write it down. He's going to write all the stuff. So uh, you guys start your trek out into the woods and uh, basically from what you heard from the king and uh, from their um, cartographer, they guesstimate that it takes a, it's going to take about a two hour you know, trek, two to three hour trek to get to this likely cave that they think that Elliot might be in. So it's about, I don't know, about an hour, about an hour and a half in and you guys are still walking and conversating with Duke and, you know, trying to get a lay of the land. It's about. I would say 11, 12 p.m. Or, yeah, 12 p.m. So, uh, hey. well, what uh, what are you good at? Oh, um, I am good at, uh, really good at knitting. Uh, I'm good at That's conversation. That's not a discernible skill. I'm good at no, dinner conversations. Um, 
Oh dear. Um, seem real happy all the time. You know, I'm just not all the time. I uh, I definitely have had my dark moments. A uh, bit of an alcoholic back in the day. I've uh, been cutting down on that white wine now, as opposed to you know casks of ale and whiskey. A uh, little sacrilegious for a dwarf, but you know I was a different person back then. Interesting. Good to see you've grown. You know, I uh, do I, most dwarves knit. I wouldn't say they mostly knit. Uh, actually, they used to make fun of me, believe it or not, because yeah. I used to Weird. knit. Weird. <laughs> uh, my parents have though, imagined were so royal that that's why they call me Duke. Oh. They called me the Duke of the, my unit, and it kind of fit with my name. So, yeah, name kind of stuck. Okay. I mean, do you want uh, do you want a sweater? Uh, no. <laughs> I get the sweater. No, I'm saying when I'm done with this one. Yes. Okay. And he puts uh, up another piece of paper <laughs> in a bit. Wait, kind of, uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, red. Red. All right. And you're <clears throat> tall. Honestly. Yes. Uh, hey. I'd like one for my son who is yet to be born. Oh, you have a boy? You have a son on the way. That's, That's what exciting. They say. That's exciting. What uh, did you? Would you like me to make a giant red one with a like a what? What is his name? Uh, we have yet to pick one out. All right. So I will make the base, and then you tell me the letter at a later date. Sounds good. And then In like your eventually, curse the strider. Like this is my sweater. This, right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby sweater. <laughs> it brings me comfort. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. Guys, don't Cuddle. touch me. I'm scared. <laughs> And so just put Absidy in it. <laughs> hey guys, let's you like my sweater? This is really comfortable. Uh, so as you're trekking down, uh, you do kind of as he's talking to you, he kind of just stops for a second and let's see if he see or anything. He probably ran out of yawn. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely heard something. <laughs> he kind of just puts his hand up, and this lax person suddenly gets rigid, and he puts his hand up in a military kind of. Uh, Signal for stop. Mm-hmm. Should probably stop. Yeah, yeah, that's do you hear that? Flying. The rustling, the trees. Well, let's find out. Fifteen. Nineteen. Ooh. Okay. So as he kind of does that and he looks at you, you start hearing in about, I would say about thirty yards. You start hearing rustling in this bush. I don't want to be alarmed. Maybe it might be like an elk. Like a rabbit, something smaller than an elk, probably. You're the babysitter. What should we do? You're really tasty. I, we realistically, we could go around and then kind of hook over. What fun is that? I think I think he's right. I think we need to get out of the way, see what it is. What fun is that? Ah, hey, you're right. Let's go Wait, at it. No, don't. All right, <laughs> this is gonna go swimmingly. <laughs> So you guys start, you're like, okay, whatever, Bash Brothers. And you, start going, <laughs> you start going towards the bush and um, you hear this. <laughs> and roll for initiative. <laughs> Wait. Where's my note? Wait, oh, there maybe I can speak with the animal. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. That'd be stupid. <laughs> and then, so you start to see, you see this like foolish red kind of like fur and you're like, oh, okay, maybe it's like a fox or something. And then you're like, foxes aren't usually shaped like shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> you That's see this, different. this, poof, poof, this person just comes up and he's just full of just muscles and it is a hobgoblin. Hmm. Like Spider-Man? Kind of like Spider-Man, only it's not Roger Kingsley. Spoilers for Spider-Man. Aww. Um, Aww. And you see this man with this this hobgoblin with this fucking great axe, and he just snarls at you. And you look back, and Duke's like, <laughs> and he points over, and you look behind you, and there was another hobgoblin with a long sword. Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> we got it. We're big, strong men. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm gonna use our new thing. <laughs> and I got a four. I got a fourteen. A four and a fourteen. Yeah. Oh, we are on the ball. You kinky boots. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a drink real quick. Boots. I'm good for the moment. Good at the mo. For the for the mo. I good for the mo. The mo. Justin, you want one? 
Uh, I have a drink at the moment, and I appreciate you. Is this a drinky drink? I'll make it a drinky drink. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a drinky drink. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm I'm good. I'll get one uh, after we die. <laughs> Other side. So we are in trouble. Dum da dum 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 dum. Shrubs. Shrubs. I figured we had some time while he did that. I I support it. All right. So the green is the shrubbery. 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 You look like, <laughs> you look like the piss boy. You look like a pile of shit. Oh piss boy. Oh piss mm, boy. Piss boy. What? What are you cans? <laughs> no, not my cans. Man, I gotta work more on on getting this accent. Down. I know it's so hard. <laughs> I haven't done like I a, keep, a real. It's fun. I keep going in and out. It happens like I have different accents every time I talk. <laughs> I'm going from like Harry Potter to <laughs> to Liverpool. Ooh, go to like these. Sometimes, sometimes I pick up Justin's accent. I'm just like, fuck, man. <laughs> pick a lane. <laughs> you two are Pally. Hey. My, oh fuck. My name is Pally. You guys are like, oh, hey. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. So we rolled out. for. We rolled for initiative. That means there's no talking them into not attacking us. <laughs> Well, you know. So well, you can attempt to on your turn. Well, I'm they're not, not animals, I'm not so I'm that. not going to use yeah, that. No, not. keep talking. I'm okay. not going to do that. No. So what did you going get, Patrick? You got a 14. 14. Okay. And I got a 4. I'm going to fight. So I like that I have a lot more health than, than <laughs> usual. Than normal? Yeah, normally it's like about Armor half class of that. is quite high as well. Uh, as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not a good Where's sound. your What'd head? You get? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What'd yeah. you get for? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Fuck yeah, I did. I did, I did. I did, I did. Okay. All right. Where's your head at? Nah. Put him here. Uh, he was. Uh, then you were. Okay. So okay. we've got, let's, All right. Pa- okay, we don't have to practice now. Okay. I was going to say we should practice our accents. But uh, had a, he's ready, he's ready. So, your, uh, the first hobli- goblin is going to, the one that's in front of you, is yeah. going to raise its fucking, what did I say, longsword? Great axe. Great axe. It's going to raise its great axe in the air, and it's going to take a swipe at Thomas. Great. Does a 19 hit? It does oh. hit, barely. <laughs> Fuck. It's going to be fun. <laughs> do, we, do we need to move it forward at all? <clears throat> no, it's, no, you're good. It's right on it. striking distance. Ka. Is it? Wait, which, I'm confused which is which. Is this? This is the, the one. one that you're talking to. And oh, I thought one. I thought it was that. Yeah, because this is you. Negative. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, and then that's <clears throat> that's, that's you? Yeah. Got it. That's uh, take 12 points of slashing damage. Holy Ooh. shit. As he just brings this great axe on, and you're like, maybe he wants to talk. Oh, God. <laughs> Does he not want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. Help. And then it is your turn. Thomas. Thomas. Uh, I will pull out my long sword. Yeah, pull that out. And pull it right take, his, a, his take a swipe at him. Oh, that's not oh. good. Uh, five plus six, eleven. I'm sorry that misses. <laughs> oh, fuck. So you you take out your longsword and still kind of disoriented from the whole exchange. You're like, whoa, you do not just kind of like get up and slash at a person. You try to like bat him away and you just go. Psh. All right. Oh, fuck. And oh, then no. you hear from the back. Shit. You're like, um, all right. So babysitter is going to help or you got it. Yes, please. 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 Help. All right. And you see him and he kind of just rubs his hands together. And you see him do this kind of like arc as uh, the only thing I can describe it as pure sparkles, rainbow, and the fucking magic nitter. comes out of his hands. hands. Fucking nitta. You better put that in my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking hits that hobgoblin. Okay. Fucking Duke. Why, fucking can't you, why can't you roll like <laughs> you n- fucking wanker? That's f- their word. <laughs> That's their word. Oh, Jesus Christ, Duke. Okay. Thank he you, He immediately, Duke. as the hobgoblin is like, the second one's like, <sighs> He just gets <laughs> fucking blasted by this thing. And he's like, oh, oh, 
and he's just full of just sparkles and just uh. full of sparkles. And then the the second hobgoblin is if you can move him five paces towards Duke. One, two. That's actually my Asimar Paladin, my eight year old. <laughs> yeah, I got him at Hero Forge. Um, and he can't make any attack, so it is Pally the Paladin's turn. All oh, right. fucking do something, mate. All right. Well, I'm going to take out my halberd. Halberd. And strike him. A little yeah. stabby stab. Get him with that. Know what a halberd is, right? It's a spear. You have to back slash up at all. Sword you might, yeah, you might want to back up yeah, one. Take, take a step back. Get a little bit distance. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay, you're stuck on a corner. Just leave me here. Just leave me here to die. 11. Tell my plus, son plus he's five. a wanker. Right, six, well, six, so, so, so sixteen. Yeah, 16. please roll damage. All right. D is ten. Is ten? No. Yep. Okay. D ten plus. I got a seven. Plus two. Plus two. Nine. Nine. Strong. Crikey. Strong. Yeah. Fuck Strong. you, hobgoblin. Strong. Okay, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, You're wow. not gonna nip me anything. <laughs> You're not gonna nip me shit. Oh, around a bit nitter. more. I'm like that, eh? So the, the first hobgoblin is going to, seeing its friend just get blasted with this shit, is going to look and then get stabbed. It's <laughs> gonna, basically going to swipe at you, uh, Pally. Uh, does a 14 hit? No. Okay, so you see him and he's like, uh, uh, and you see, coming from a fucking mile away, you see him pull his arm back as he tries to crush down as you just kind of sidestep back. Thomas, it is your turn. Let's attack this this fucker. Thomas Wayne. 13 plus 6, 19. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll that roll damage. D8. I think this is my D8. This is Actually, my... you have a longsword. It's two D6s. Oh, this says D8. This is one D8. For mm-hmm. the longsword? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Longsword. Yeah. One D, one D6. Or is it a greatsword? I wanted to give you a greatsword. It's two this D6s. This says longsword. It's two D6s. You're fine. Okay. Can I borrow your D6, please? Yes, you can. And it's plus three. That's six, nine. Nine? Okay. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, I see you. I see you, baby. Shaking that dairy (laughs) ass. Okay. Shit, okay. So you kind of roll back, and you have this fucking great sword, and you choke up on it like a fucking, like, Jose Canseco. (laughs) And you go back, references. And you just slash across him, and this hobgoblin just goes, fucked up. He looks fucked up. Okay, and then Duke is going to call out. He's going to go, all right, I'm going to try to keep this one alive. Maybe they've seen where Elliot's gone. And you see him kind of like square up if you want to move him up. And he has his uh, hammer down, and you see him ball up his fist, and he goes to just smack this hobgoblin in the face to knock him out. In the fucking face. All right, Duke, come on, man. Use those sparkles. (laughs) Use the sparkles. And so you hear his, Nitter. like, yeah, you, you, his hands aren't, like, bare like your guys' is. It's gauntleted. And you see him just kind of wind back, and he just looks at it, and he just punches this guy right in the fucking nose, and he just goes down. And Homgoblin 2 is out of the race. He is knocked out. KO. Pally. Well, might as well just try to kill this guy, right? Uh, yeah, fuck him. <clears throat> Do you yeah. come around a bit more? What's that? Come around a bit more. Come around what? No, don't worry. Just do it. Just do it then. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Get, get oh, on with it. That's not going to happen. It was that? a three. That's a three. Three it's plus not very five. Good. It's not Stay strong. <laughs> three plus, yeah, okay. five. So not it strong. is the Hobgoblin's turn again. And he is going to look and he sees his brother just kind of go. <laughs> and he screams something in, uh, in Hobgoblin as he once again squares up this time with you again, Thomas. And great. he swings his great axe at you. And he'll fucking hit, because it's my luck. <laughs> does a 14 hit. It does not. Okay. And you just see him, and his rage, he just messes up, and he just completely misses you as you just kind of gook. <laughs> and it's your turn. I uh, would hopefully like to kill him. Go for it. Moida. A 17. 17 hits, roll damage. <laughs> yeah, boy. Get those 2d6s, you dirty bitch. That's uh, 8 plus 3 is an 11. How do you want to kill him? <laughs> um, I would like, oh, how do I want to kill him? I would like to feed him my greatsword. Oh, 
Yeah. So you wanted to shove it in his mouth. Absolutely. Into his tummy. Oh, all the way. Will you ask for consent first? No, absolutely okay. not. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Pally, you're actually going to help him with this. You kind of oh, go oops. over and uh, he's kind of like on his knees and you're like, maybe we can get information for him. Nah. nah. And you kind of just pry his mouth open as uh, basically as if doing a reverse sword from the stone kind of thing. You kind of get your great sword and inch by inch. You just kind of go. Burr, burr. And these screams are certain gurgles as his eyes widen and tear up. And then by the time it hits his uh, his abdomen, he is just choking on his own blood before passing out and soon just dying. And you right. turn around. And you're savage. like savage. All right. All right. And you turn around right. and Duke is just kind of like. What? Uh, what? You got that one. We, we got this one. At eight. Uh, didn't know that we were killing people in cold blood. Uh, that's neat. Looking forward he, to that. Hey, he hit me first. Yeah, he growled at us. He hit me first. Oh, also, he hit him first. And you say you're not children. <laughs> you're not children. You're not my dad. <laughs> no, but I'm your babysitter, and this is why you need one. Obviously, you're doing a bad job. Yeah. Work harder. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right. I'm two bros, two bros. <laughs> <laughs> bash bros, bash bros. All right, do you, you got your rope, right? We're going to tie him up to the tree, and when he wakes up, we're going to try to get information. Sounds I, good. I love it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I know, many nuts. <laughs> no, just give me the rope. Ah, fine, here you and go. And so he t- you give him the rope, and you see this little dwarf kind of waddle, and because he, he's short. And he's just, once wop, again... Wop. Stronger than you think he is. He just picks this this fucking hobgoblin up by the nape of his neck, and he just starts dragging him over to a nearby tree and ties him to it. And he just kind of sits there. He's like, I don't know how hard I walloped him. It might be an hour or two. Uh, yeah. You want to maybe set up camp? Maybe get a little bit of water. We've been traveling for like an hour and a half. Stretch our legs out. Maybe get a lay of the land. Due to yeah. my strike, I would like to lay down for a uh, a uh, pinch. A short rest. Oh. Short rest. Oh, so you, uh, your heart. Uh, slightly. Just yeah. slightly? Slightly. I'll just rub some dirt in it. Thank you, babysitter. Well, <laughs> you know, that's what I'm here for. When things get really into the shit, I pull through. A fucking babysitter. Yeah, a fucking piece of shit. I don't know if you just saw earlier, but I blasted in one hit. Meanwhile, it took you guys kind of a couple of smacks there. We're easing into it. Boop. <laughs> so he, uh, he starts, you know, putting down his things and he starts knitting. And he's sitting in front of this hobgoblin as he's just kind of pearl one, knit two, pearl one, knit three. And he's making this really like ornate kind of regal, like despite just meeting you, he's making a really nice kind of like sweater <laughs> he for us. you. And he, so he respects us. He, yeah. you see him there and he's like, all right, I think he's waking up. And uh, after about like 30 minutes, he's like, <laughs> and he screams at something at you and hobgoblin. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh. Do you speak hobgoblin? Because I don't. I, I do not. Fuck. All right. Uh, let's do it our best here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you, any of you speak any other languages? You speak draconic and you speak elvish. Elvish? Yes. Uh, speak draconic. Uh, I know a bit of Elvish. Head eight, head eight, and obviously I know Dwarvish. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can communicate in Dwarvish. See if that... Uh, uh, <laughs> bubbles were a bad choice. <laughs> Damn it, LaCroix. Um, chew water. Chew. <laughs> that's <laughs> the second time that's been said. <laughs> if you want to put that in the universe there. Uh, so... He kind of says this greeting in Dwarvish and uh, Hobgoblin just kind of snarls back at him. I ate that. I, I, I did my best. Uh, it's draconic, uh, Elvish. Is it what? Find out who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck, children. Your children. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. If it works, it works. Yeah. So I'm rolling for. No, I'll just talk to. Just you could say to I'm going to try to say hi. I'm going to try and. and uh, ask him how's it how's it hanging in draconic. How's your penis? <laughs> how's your pee? No, I'm talking about. Well, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, that's how we'll go back. Dick. 
Oh, that's a nat 20. Nat 20, so... I should have asked something better. I should have asked something better. You, I, I thought of him hanging by the tree, just like, kind of just like, in like a... But he's not doing that. He's just up against the fucking tree. <laughs> so you, you asked him in Draconic. In yeah. perfect dialect of Draconic, might I add. Like, you've never heard him, like... <clears throat> and he says the whole, like, this whole beautiful, eloquent thing. And this hobgoblin kind of, like, cocks his head. And he just starts screaming back in Hobgoblin again. Great. Do you speak any other language other than that gibberish? No, I don't sp- Dwarvish? That's the language of my people. Do you think you can knit him a picture? <laughs> well, what have you got in your hand? I though? can't draw. <laughs> I'm not talking about drawing. I'm talking about... You said you had Talk. another language. You yeah, know I know Elvish. Elvish. He's not going to know Elvish. How do you know that? Just ask him in look, Elvish. Oh, look Fuck. at him. All right. Let's try it. Come on. Um, I ask how it's hanging in Elvish. <laughs> yes. I started it. It's a thing. I got a 20. <laughs> he looks at you, this hobgoblin, and you see, once again, he kind of cocks his head. This was the wrong time to roll 20s. <laughs> and he responds in Elvish. Well, oh, shit. Well, my brother just died. You killed him, I'm assuming. Actually, uh, uh, no, to be how fair. How do you think it's hanging? Uh... I You're still understand. alive, so pretty well. <laughs> Meanwhile, Duke's like, oh, he speaks Elvish. And he's, and he's smacking you on the arm. He's like, he speaks Elvish. Yeah, 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 we get I, it. I, I know, I it's know. Just, it's exciting. I'm, I'm here. I'm excited. I'm here, too. Ask him Ask him if he knows where your brother is. Oh. His brother is. No. Do you know where my friend's brother is? Have you seen any... Uh, Elliot. Have you seen a man by the name of Elliot around? Heard anything through the wind? And you see him breathe in, and he goes, Did I ask you your name before I tried killing you? No. No. Do you really think I ran into a man named Elliot? Because I asked him, Hey, what's your name? <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Crookshanks. What's your name? Why are you Don't worry about it. That's a weird name. Yeah. It's a bit of a long one. <laughs> Your parents must not have liked you. They were kind of hippies. They're talking about something, and I think they're getting on the right track. Look how excited for, he's getting. For some reason, I disagree. Well, you don't speak Elvish. I don't, but so I, you know, don't know. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Better than you. Well, how about how about you tell us if you've seen anyone who looks like my friend over there in the past few days? And he looks over... And he, uh, Why is he looking at me? Give him, give him the eyes. Make him think you're into him. For me, it's funny. It's funny. Don't worry. <laughs> it's funny. If I tell you and I do this, will you please let me go? Mm. You don't have a <laughs> say. What are you doing? <laughs> what's, do, I, do I have an alignment already? You are. I would say you're lawful neutral. You do this for me. And I'll let you go. Roll a deception. <laughs> We're not letting him go. Thirteen. Plus. You have a plus as well. Oh, deception. Um three. Three. So sixteen. And he goes. <laughs> I know you're not gonna let me go. That's fine. Oh, he calls your bullshit. He call he saw right through it. But, just so you know, I did see someone in clunky armor walking up in a cave about a couple of miles north. My clan lives there. We ran into him. He banged us up pretty bad, but I'm surprised he got past it. What is it? Well, you're going to kill me anyway. Why would I tell you that? Roll for intimidation. (laughs) He's not intimidating you. He's telling you the, the <laughs> truth. You're going to kill him anyway. But I want to know. Torture him. Just tell me anyway. If you're going to die, make your last words useful. Uh, sure. I have, you have two options. Either I tell you or I make googly eyes at that one and freak him out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a genuinely hard decision. <laughs> 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 I 
And then Duke kind of looks over. He's like, I don't know what's happening, but things are starting to heat up. It looks like it's going to be thing. Uh, it's not good. It's, it's how do you know? Good. He's tied to a tree. I know he is tied him. to a tree. I know him. If anything, maybe he's seen where he's been. I know Pally. <laughs> Make googly eyes. <laughs> I knew that was a fucking it's a wise thing. decision. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> does he make great yeah, Google ads? So he, you see this hobgoblin. Mm-hmm. And before he's kind of talking in these monotone kind of uh, snarls. And he's yeah. talking to the, you know, Pally and Elvish. And Pally seems to kind of get this kind of like information from him. And they're having a good rapport. And Pally just kind of stops, looks at you. And he's like, that's about it. And you kind of look at him. And you're like, that can't possibly be it. That's they. They didn't run into anyone. And this hobgoblin kind of like looks down ashamedly, and then looks up. <laughs> and his suddenly his eyes just seem like bright, and he's just kind of blinking them, like he wants to get inside your armor. <laughs> and Duke kind of looks at you, and looks at the hobgoblin, and then looks back. I think he's a little bit sweet on you. What did you do? He loves you. <laughs> he, he said w- He said he'll only tell us where your brother is with, for a kiss. No. <laughs> you might, you might roll for deception. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to roll for deception and try to believe that. <laughs> Who'd you get? Nat 20. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to say you don't believe him. You know him. So. But I got a nat 20. <laughs> I know you got a nat now 20. Now kiss. <laughs> now kiss penises. <laughs> Let one consume the other. At eight, so what are we doing on this one? Well, he thinks we're going to kill him. So we could do that. I wouldn't mind it. Or we can just leave him here. Hey. Or we can take him with us. He told us where... Uh, he told us uh, your brother banged up his tribe not far from here. How many more are there? I got caught up asking about the googly <laughs> eyes, so I'm not really sure. Your mother. At eight, fantastic. Well, if at least anyway, we know that they are uh, at least a little bit more aggressive than a normal hobgoblin, but they're banged up. So that might be giving us a fight and chance, eh? He did mention that uh, he was surprised that your brother got past uh, all he said was it. So I'm not sure what it is. Oh, that's foreboding. Yeah, again, that's googly eyes, creepy. much more important. <laughs> so. Why? Why? Cause I love you, man. You're the worst. Neat. <laughs> eight, so, baby, I guess babysitter, you decide what we do with it. At him. eight, so we just tie him up and then we kind of drag him along, no? Yeah, I think if we take you, him with us. If you can drag him, I have to drag him. Yeah, yeah. you're the big strong you're the, dwarf. You're the babysitter. I'm babysitting you. I'm not babysitting him. You decided to add him to the crew. He's a guide. Barely. Mm. And you see him like untie the the shackles, but he he re ropes them, and the hobgoblin is you know not protesting and just kind of because he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. He's like he's pleasantly surprised, and he kind of like looks at you and he nods. And uh, the four of you start moving towards the mile. The was it two miles? He said north. <clears throat> and after, uh, are you guys gonna try to talk to him anymore, or um, does he speak? Human? Common? Common? You, you can attempt to. You didn't really ask him anything in common. Th- that's true. Um, you guys just kind of went with, <clears throat> he speaks another language. <laughs> He's different well, he than He was us. just yelling random bullshit. Well, he was speaking his native tongue. That's offensive. <laughs> I stand by my statement. You. Stand by my statement. Okay. Um. Do you speak common tongue? And he kind of looks at you. Very... Little. You seem angry. You killed my clan mate. Yeah. But to be fair, he hit me first. To be fair, the person that's not supposed to be here hit us first. You didn't have to attack us. Wait, the person who's not supposed to be here? You're dressed like them. You wear the crest. Pat. 
paladins? Your brother. Palo? Haha, we, why? Why can't we be here? He has been coming for weeks and weeks, leaving us alone, which is fine. Going into that cave, but coming back out. And then this time, he lashed out. Lashed out? How? <sighs> Enough to make us question two more of them in our woods. Two? Is it us? Two? Paladins, uh, us. us? Two and a half. And Duke's like, I resent that. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a full person, not eight. And does that the hobgoblin kind of goes, eh. <laughs> so Does that you... sound like your brother, though? No. Not. What what were you and your tribe doing? Hunting, living. No, not, not Elliot. What's in that cave? I don't know. I don't go in the cave. Maybe you should have. All I know is that there is this big behemoth that just sits outside the cave and for some reason it doesn't really mess with him. Will he mess with us? Can you describe the behemoth? Mongo. <laughs> Mongo. <laughs> Fuck. Big old Goliath. It's just mounds of earth building on top of each other. I haven't ever gotten a real good look at it. How much bigger is he than you? And you see, he's trying to lift his arms up and he goes, points over at this great pine tree and he goes, about a quarter of that. <clears throat> Fuck. And it's this huge fucking tree. Well, shit. Fuck. Duke. Hey. Uh, <laughs> if, hey. Not you, just hey. I didn't say hey. Uh, hey. Sorry. Hey, why? Sorry. Hey. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Do you know anything about this? Lord. Do you know what it might be? Uh, I mean, I can certainly think. Uh, let's see here. Go on the old Rolodex here. Uh, uh, no. I, I don't think I've really run into anything like this before. In all your travels, you have nothing. Nothing. I mean, You're so much more experienced than Maybe us. a gal- like a, a gargoyle? Or a, a so much more experienced than us. Statue? Yeah. So much for not being 20. Listen here, bud. I fought a white dragon, okay? What did you've done? Uh, killed, killed a hobgoblin. His, killed his, his clan mate. Uh, ear muffs. Hobgoblins aren't hard to kill. <laughs> <laughs> they're like peanuts, especially when they're like hurt. And the hobgoblin just goes hurtful. <laughs> Ow. Which so can way? We, can we roll for? Um, I forget what it is. Insight. Yeah, to, insight. To like, see if he's like lying history to us or, or that history. Like, you could do history. Know. You could do do. I'll let uh, Thomas do a history check. Uh, Pally do a nature check. And then I'm going to take my first sippy. Wait, why do I have negative one nature? Um, I also have negative one nature. Well, you're not doing nature. You're doing history. Do Both of you do history check. I have negative one history. Do you really? Yeah. So 13. Okay. You're not real book learned. No. A 10 with my plus two. I'm a wild boy. Okay. So both of you are like thinking you're like stone. Like gargoyle kind of makes sense, but not for the forest. And then, uh, Pally, you kind of think, and you're like, there are different kind of, like, beings that are made out of, like, elements. Maybe it's made out of earth. Maybe it's smog. It's an earth elemental. <laughs> Those are things. I know. Smog. I played World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, can he direct us to this cave? That's where we were going, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we don't... Do can he, like, the shortest route to... The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Oh, okay, God, but shut I up. don't know where it is. I know about where it is, but not. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I can do it. It's fine. Look, look, what? Bob Goblin. Yes. If you didn't you, even ask my name. I, I don't. Hey, it's Crookshanks. Particularly care. It's Crookshanks. 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 Yep. What's up? <laughs> tell, me you more, tell me more. Tell me. Help if you help us. <laughs> mm-hmm. We will let you go. 
scot free. Okay, that's fair. Help us in all meanings of the word. If we run into something that I mean, I was just making the eyes because he told me to. I'm not. I, I'm no, he's not, into it. He told I'm, me. I'm not. He's very. I'm he's not, playing hard to get. I'm not into it. I yeah, well, he is. I have a wife. You can tame some strange. <laughs> help us in in battle. Help mm. us with maybe this Goliath. <sighs> we'll let you go. I mean, if you survive. <laughs> if <laughs> we survive, that's comforting. I we I don't know. Sure. That sounds that sounds swell. Um, can I roll for? Yeah, uh, you can insight. roll insight. I think he's fucking lying. Why are you always lying? Fifteen plus three, Eight, mod eighteen. So eighteen. Um, he seems uneasy or unsure. He doesn't know if he really wants to die by with you guys or just be killed by you guys. It's kind of a toss up. Look, if we wanted to kill you. We uh, wanted you dead. I would. We have. would have. We would have killed you before. I would have done it. We would have killed you before. I, I already did it once. I, I understand. It's fine. I already did it. Thank once. you. Just be our friend. I put my Come on, sword. Crookie. Be Crooks. our friend. Be Crookie our Meister. Friend. Crook call boy. you CS Crookshanks. Oh, that's a great name. CS. Roll for persuasion. <laughs> Roll for persuasion. Sure. You have a plus six in persuasion. Eighteen. 18 plus 6? No, 14. no, 12 plus 6. And what'd you get? I got a 14 plus 6. So, modded 20. He goes... <sighs> to get off scot free. CS, scot free. Sure. Crookie's with us. Yeah, it's one of us. <laughs> hey, Duke, start making him a sweater too. <laughs> hey, that hates. And he pulls out another pad. <laughs> and he goes, hey, hey, Crook, what's your favorite color? And he goes, green. <laughs> And he goes, all right, what size are you? look like you're about a medium. Right. <laughs> a medium in what? Uh, just like person. Okay. What size are we? Oh, you're like uh, large. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> uh, I'm good. assuming you're going to wear it over your armor. Oh, of course. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I did. I like mine. Uh, so you guys start walk. You guys are walking, and it's about another... You know, 45 minutes of walking. I love that whole interaction. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you go off, there's this clearing in the forest. And you see, like, maybe about 40 yards away, you see this giant cave with this giant opening in the front. And to the side, you kind of see, like, the remnants of a camp. But it looks like there are giant, like, pock marks in it, like footprints. And hobgoblins are just kind of thrown aside. Some are ripped in half. And you just see... This person, you see Crookshank's kind of like tribe just kind of ripped in front of him. And he just kind of stops and his eyes just go wide. And he goes, that's, that's not, I don't, I don't understand. We just, we, we just left for a few hours. We were, we were hunting. I, I don't. And then you hear, oh, fuck, <laughs> bother. Oh, dear, 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 dear. And, oh, fuck. with that, Rolf. we are going to stop this episode as... Oh, you got to talk into the mic. And then we're going to call it at this episode as a giant stone golem <laughs> crumbs out of the cave. Oh, fuck. Stone golem in stone. the cave. Of should've, course. Should have known it. Obviously. There's always a stone golem. <laughs> <laughs>